Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Whispered World. When we last left off, there was an island all the way over there. The island seems to be inhabited, but it's too far away to swim there. Huh. Well, there is a lake. The water looks downright cloudy. No, wait. <laughs> it's just a reflection of my face. You seem not to have a good opinion of your face, Sadwick. But let's talk to the messenger. A stranger? Hello! I'd rather not shake hands with him. I don't want to catch warts. Oh, he probably doesn't have warts. Hello. Hello. Ah! Oh, thank heaven. You are not an askew, obviously. A what? I'm not a what? Oh, nothing. Everything's fine. At last, I've met someone. Are you from around these parts? No. We're just passing through with our circus. Yeah. Damn, I thought it was too good to be true. What? What's going on here? Who are you? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Are you one of the Askiel spies? No. Could be. Ah, nonsense. <laughs> of course you're not an Askiel. I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous. My name is Bobby. Hello. I come from far away. Huh? Oh, yes. I am a Chusky. You know a what? And you are? I'm Shadwick. Oh. My family owns a small traveling circus. I understand. So. You're some kind of clown. Yes. We're in the performing arts trade. <laughs> clown, then. You don't look particularly happy, if I might say so. Hmm. Do you want to see the circus? Yeah. What? Are you mad? Oh. Do I look like I have time for that kind of nonsense? Maybe. You just go back to your circus, Sonny. I have to deal with the important things in this world. Oh. So the big responsibilities of this world are up to you? Now that's unsettling. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hmm. And neither elephants nor colorful balls can prevent me from carrying out my mission. Not even cheerful chimps with hilarious hats. Ooh, hats. You don't happen to have chimps in your circus, do no. you? No. 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 <laughs> Of course not. And even if you had, I wouldn't have been interested at all. For I am a Chasky, and nothing can stop me from carrying out my mission. Except monkeys, apparently. Mental note. Meet your Chasky. Get monkeys. Chasky? What does that mean? What? You don't know the Chasky? Nope. The word means messenger. We perform important tasks on behalf of the king. Chasky. Now I remember. Grandpa told me about you, hmm. but you can't be a Chusky. Oh, yeah? Why not? Oh, dear. Um. Chusky are brave heroes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. What do you think brought me here? I'm in the middle of a hair-raising adventure. Are uh, you? The fate of the world lies in my hands. Really? You're exaggerating. Not a bit. There have never been situations more desperate. I'd rather not go into details. Oh? You'd never be able to sleep at night not if I does did. anyway. Ha! <laughs> like that would make a difference. What about... Chasky, our noble messenger to Corona. Oh, yeah? And where do you think I'm coming from? Well, you rather look like someone coming from a... <laughs> That's right. Directly from the royal court. Nobody wanted you? to say. From Corona? I don't believe you. You should. I am a Chasky. And I'm on a mission on behalf of the king. Okay, what about the skill trackers part? Chasky are skill trackers. <laughs> Even though it may look that way, I'm not lost. Yes, you are. I'm just not sure about where to go. That's all. Hmm... Chesky are cheerful adventurers. Ha! That's good coming from you. Looking at you doesn't exactly fill me with joy either. Touché. I didn't sleep well. I suffer from nightmares. Nightmares, you say? Hmm. In fact, I don't really know much about the Chesky. Unfortunately, I haven't got the time to tell you about my daring adventures. Convenient. Which is a shame. They're full of suspense. Epic, too. Doubtful. And every now and again, there's a laugh or two included. Well, too bad. What exactly is your mission? What exactly is your yeah. mission? Not that I'm really interested. Mm. Actually, it's a secret. Really? But all right, I'll tell <laughs> you. I'm carrying a precious and powerful artifact. Mm? The Whispering Stone. Ooh. The what? 
Whispering Stone. Blistering Bone? The Whispering Stone! <laughs> Why don't you listen? How could I with you mumbling like that? My mission is to take it back to Corona. Okay. To the King's Castle. Right. Whispering Stone? That doesn't sound very it doesn't powerful. doesn't at all. I don't know very much about it, but I do know that it's very important. Otherwise, the Royal Stones collection wouldn't be complete. <laughs> it's not a joking matter. Oh. As far as I know, the king needs it to prevent the end of the world. Oh. Are the stories about Corona true? It hmm. depends. Which stories are you referring to? A long list of them? Uh. I heard that the end is near. That's right, I'm afraid. Oh. The landscape around Corona has already started to fall apart. Oh dear. Like in my dream. You dreamed about that? Uh oh. That's not good. Oh dear. That's not good at all. Why do you say that? Oh, and uh, no reason. Hmm. Forget about it, will you? I don't think he can. I heard that the king is dead. He's not dead, but he's very weak. I think the impending doom is getting to him. I heard Corona has fallen. Not yet, but the situation is growing more and more is it? threatening. The Askil have advanced up to the castle. The Askil? Yes, a horrific strain of creatures. It's just a matter of time, I fear. Oh, lovely. In fact, I've only heard rumors. Well, not everything one hears is true, but the situation is serious. And I suppose... Oh, good question. You think my dreams are trying to tell Probably me something? Probably not. My brother Ben says I shouldn't worry. Yes, listen to your brother. Keep on dreaming and pretend you never heard of the world's big problems. Yes, as if you never even met me. That's best for you. Just ignore the fact that the world's <laughs> on the brink and we're all doomed. Aren't you exaggerating a no. bit? No. Oh. You think I'm exaggerating? It already started, Sadwick. The land is falling apart. The end is nigh. Like in my dream. That was your dream? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why? They're only dreams. Mm -hmm. Only dreams. Only dreams, he says. What if it's not? What if it's a vision? Uh -oh. A vision? You think so? I admit, it's not very likely in your case. Mm. Only important people have visions. Really? King, oracles, and chasky. Funny that. Nevertheless, the thought is unsettling. I don't even think you're going to let me help you with this, but what the heck, let's try. And now I'm supposed to help you with your mission, nope. right? <laughs> The clown wants to have a real chasky with his mission. Yep. Now that's a good one. What? I'm sure I could be of some help. Impossible. I'm every bit as good as you. <laughs> At least you're a pretty good clown. Whatever. Okay, so do your stuff alone. Hey, hey. Take it easy. Hmm. I understand that you're fascinated by my adventure. Really? Ooh, yeah, well. But you simply don't know what you're getting involved That's probably with. true. The life of a Chasky is full of danger. You'll get yourself into big trouble. If you want to help me, you'll need to be 100% certain. Okay. I'm 100% certain, uh, sure. So, at least you've got guts. That's good. It point. is. But are you skillful enough to? I'm just as skilled as you are. I'm just as skilled as you are. If it's true, that'd be great. Skillfulness is one of the most important qualities of a chassis. Okay. But I wonder whether you are optimistic enough. You strike me as being rather negative. Chasky are characterized by their incredible joyful nature, which gives us the energy to find a way out of even the most difficult situations. Are you really joyful enough? So let me get this straight. You claim that you're skillful, you claim uh, all these other things, and I don't think you're actually any of these things at all, Chasky. Mr. Bobby, I don't think you're any of them. I think this guy is actually the most joyful person here. Not you, with a pot for a clown head. Ugh. Of course. I'm a clown, after all. Right. <laughs> How could I ever doubt you? True. Very well, then. 
It looks like you meet the necessary requirements. Great. You see, I'm really desperate. Okay. And time is running out. Right. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not very good at things like this. Usually things get more complicated as soon as I try to help. Hmm. That doesn't sound either brave or joyful or skillful. Maybe I should put your abilities to a test. First. Okay. A test? Oh, dear. Yes. You could go and fetch me something to eat. A nice fish would just do the trick. What? I'm supposed to catch a fish for you? Hmm. I wanted to help you with your mission. If I want to play the lackey, I might as well go back to my family. Hold your horses. First, you show me what you can do by catching a fish for me. Then, I'll fill you in on my mission. Do you think you can do that? Yes. I'll manage somehow. I believe in you, Sadwick. Look, about this test. Mm -hmm. You're still not finished. I haven't started my yet. Is about to collapse. <sighs> Can't you catch something yourself? Good question. Ha! Of course I could. I'm a chassis hmm. after all. But this is your assignment. Show me what you can do. I get the feeling that you can't catch a fish, Bobby. Can't we just skip the fish part? No, Sadwick. I'm afraid not. I need to see what you're capable of before I can let you in on the path of the Chasky. The path of the Chasky. Good grief. I see great potential no, in you. No, you don't. But the mission is too important. I need to be sure that you have what it takes. Whatever. I'll manage. I'm... I believe... Okay. See you later. See you later. Later. There must be something around here I can pick up. A st ah, a branch, for instance. A branch. Exciting. Let's go and pick that up. Can always do with a branch. There's not entirely a lot we can attach to. Them. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. A measly dip net for a measly clown. There. That'll work. <laughs> it actually did work! Well, what do you know? It actually worked. <laughs> Am I gonna catch anything? Hey, that actually worked. Looks like the clumsy little brother finally accomplished something. I have a fish! Well, that was remarkably easy. Ha! I'd achieved something. I'd I don't want no, let's not catch warts. Because we're not going to, we're going to talk to Hello, him. Hello, Bobby. Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's you. Please don't scare me like that. About the test, I have your fish. Look, about this test... You're still not finished? I have... My stomach a... is about to collapse. <sighs> I have a fish for you. I'm... I believe... Hang on. I need to obviously Cute. just Later. give him the fish out of conversation here. So, pick, single-click the fish. Let's get it. I caught a fish. There you go. Ooh, yum. Wow, that's an appetite. That's the first good news I heard in months. Will you tell me about your mission no. then? No. Of course. Oh. I'm the man who keeps his promise. Okay. But be warned. Mm -hmm. Helping me will put you in great danger. Okay. The Asgil are hot on my trail. I shouldn't even be here anymore. Now, please. Don't exaggerate. He's not. Hmm. You have no idea, have you? Well, are you sure you want to get involved with this? We've been there already. Yep. I'm absolutely sure. Yes, I am. All right, then. Well, have you ever heard of Shana? Is <laughs> that a disease that makes you... Shana? <laughs> Isn't that the disease where your feet itch terribly? No. You're talking about athlete's foot. Oh. I'm talking about Shana. She's an aura oh. a kind of clairvoyant. Excellent. And according to the legend, she lives somewhere in the autumn forest. Excellent. But maybe it's nothing more than that. Just a legend. Doubtful. I've already searched until I'm half dead. I'm going to cancel my quest. No. I mustn't stay here too long. I've got a bad feeling that the Asgill are hot on my trail. Hmm. Say, about this Shana. Yes? What about her? What do you want from Shana? Good question. Corona is far away. Without help, 
It will take months to get there. I'm hoping that Shana can give me some advice. There must be a way to shorten the trip. Mm -hmm. An oracle? Can she interpret dreams mm -hmm. as well? Of course. In that case, I have to meet her too. Maybe my dreams do mean something after mm, all. Good question. Hmm. You could come with me. Really? That'd be great. I'll finally find out the meaning of my dreams. Provided, of course, we can find her. Yeah, where shall I start looking? Where shall I start looking for her? The only thing I know is that she's supposed to live in a cabin in the middle of the autumn forest. But where exactly? I have no idea. I came down from the hills in the east. There's a good view of the valley and the whole autumn forest from there. But a cabin? Not a trace. The only things remotely resembling buildings are those ruins to the west. Well, the ruins, I've then. I've already been there. A couple of columns and statues, that's all. Then there's that cave near the mountains. And that finally leaves the forest itself. Maybe you could get a better overview from that giant tree to the south. I can track those places on your map if you Please like do. Me. Well, at least that's a start. Yeah. Enough of Shauna. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What else is on your mind? Um. See you later. I'll go later. and find things. Contact me if you have new information about Shana. Yeah, I'm gonna go find information about Shana. That's what I'm gonna do. I have loads of places on my map now. The ruins, the tree, the circus, the cave. Let's go to the tree. Can I climb the tree? Prob. Oh, there's a hole though. My adventuring instincts tell me we must examine this. I probably can't reach into it, though. That must be the tree Bobby was talking about. It's taller than all the other trees in the vicinity. Also... How can I get up there? Did... I'm a rotten climber. Did you also see the glint of resin there? The hole is too small for my hand. Besides, who knows what nasty little insects live in there. It's not too small for spot, though, I wager. When spot was still a larva, he could squeeze through every hole. He was cute back then. Oh, fair enough. There's resin. That's a lot of resin. It looks like the tree is bleeding. We could put our hands on it. Uh, knock on wood? Why am I doing this? That never worked. <laughs> That's fantastic. So we can't... We could do something with the resin. Brilliant. I can't scrape off the resin with my bare hands. The only thing I'd achieve is getting my hands sticky. Okay, do we have anything we could... We could scrape it off with a shovel? I'm not taking the resin off with that. I get my pockets all sticky. I need some kind of container. Like a bottle, maybe? A casket? I cannot scrape the resin off the tree with the casket. I need a better container. Oh, like a bottle. Uh, hmm. bone? I'm not taking the resin off with that. I get my... I need... Okay, you need a container for the resin. That's fair enough. And I can't get Spot to look in the hole. That's fine. That's fine. With the shore, the ruins, and the cave. Where's the ruins? Hmm. Strange sort of tongue there. There's an engraving on the tongue. It reads, In memory of the mighty sea eyes. They watched over our world for millennia. Oh. They watched over us from numerous eyes. We brought them the green round fruit of the Fatalia tree as offering. And they rewarded us by bringing light into our lives. That's odd. Mason poetry. Hmm. I can't take that. It's chiseled in stone. Oh, I could try. I could have tried, game. So, this is the ruins, and we should explore in the next video. For now, I'm Kikoskia, and that was us beginning to work through the, s the Whispered Worlds. Well, I say the Secret World, then. Completely different game. The Whispered World, indeed. Hopefully, we can bring a smile to this poor, sad clown. But, considering his face, 
that's not very likely, is it? I'll catch you later. I'll see you then. Later.